Hello everyone, welcome to News Extra and a long awaited event is literally just around the corner taking place tomorrow evening at uh, the Weeborg 21 Center. I have uh, Steve Markheim with Skippers Covered with me and we're talking about the Paws for Paws auction uh, that's coming up uh, tomorrow evening. Thanks tomorrow for joining evening. us. Oh well thank you for having us. Yeah, Paws for Paws charity art auction. Um, Weeborg Center, it's uh, going to be a really big event. We've had 37 local and area artists paint beautiful dog icons and they've just had rave reviews. Uh, so we're gonna auction those to raise money for Skipper's Cupboard. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've been feeding hungry animals for 10 years mm -hmm. and we cover all of Western Nebraska and Eastern Wyoming. And so uh, we were looking for a big event to celebrate our 10th year. I was gonna say, this, is, this has been something that's been building for a little while. Yeah. Um, actually started last year when, when you came up with the idea after uh, seeing something similar that was done uh, a little bit farther east in the state. Yes, it's, it's uh, it, we, and along the way we've had so much community support. We've met so many friends. Uh, we've been in so many parades uh, and we've, we've touched a lot of people. So it, it's been very gratifying even though it's taken time. Oh yeah, definitely a lot of time. But, but the uh, dogs, uh, both before they were finished and after they've been uh, painted and, and uh, decorated, uh, made a lot of stops around the, the panhandle. Oh my goodness, yes they did. They were at Chimney Rock and they were at Lake Minotaur and they were in uh, Heritage Days Parade and they were up at the Carnegie Art Center. They were in Western Nebraska Art Center. Uh, they were at the Monument. Um, I'm forgetting places, but they even places. made the pink. They even made the pink palace mm -hmm. in the groove. So <laughs> <laughs> they they got uh, they got uh, a lot of participation. They were in Tabor Days and. Uh, even the people in Sydney called up and wanted some of them on display at Sydney mm -hmm. City Hall for a week. Yeah, and uh, uh, of course the event coming up uh, tomorrow evening um, at the Weeborg 21 Center. Uh, give us some details on the time and everything and, and what people can expect when they walk through the doors. Well, registration is it starts at 6.30. Pretty simple, just come in and get a dog paddle. Uh, Seven o'clock, uh, we'll start the actual auction, live auction. Um, the dogs will be placed there for everybody to view, and uh, uh, it's going to go fast. The auction mm -hmm. will, will go rapid, but uh, we've got it well organized, and, and people will very much enjoy it. Uh, Lisa Weeberg's been so great. She'll have uh, food available and an open bar and uh, nice seating, and so I think people will really enjoy what they see. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun coming up uh, tomorrow evening at the Weeborg 21 Center. Of course, this is a fundraiser for Skipper's Cupboard, and they do a lot of work and have been for the past 10 years, helping people afford uh, food for their animals, for their pets. We'll be back on News Extra in just a moment to talk with Steve about that. And we're back on News Extra. My guest today, Steve Morgheim with Skipper's Cupboard. We're talking about the Paws for Paws auction coming up tomorrow evening at the Weeboard 21 Center in Gearing. Again, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Skipper's Cupboard has done a lot of work uh, throughout the area, throughout the Panhandle in eastern Nebraska, or eastern uh, Wyoming, I should say, um, helping people to you know, meet the needs of their pets. And how, how has the demand been going these past few years? Well, it's, it's been increasing, and part of the reason it is increasing is more visibility. One of our strategic business uh, model plans is that we do events and the more people hear about us obviously word of mouth uh, for instance last night at nine o'clock uh, we were delivering food to a couple who uh, their apartment building burned down and uh, fortunately no one was hurt but they needed food because they lost things this morning we're going to be delivering food up to the cancer center for uh, uh, ladies in town from Kimball and she's obviously strapped and uh, We've done about 150,000 pounds of food. I keep track of every kibble. Yeah. I would assume we've probably made 9,000 deliveries. And um, that's another one of our business models is, is deliver. So uh, the donations have increased, the demand has increased. Yeah. Um, and you know, one of the things we're always looking for is um, 
succession. Sure. So if there's people that are interested in, in doing what we're doing, we always encourage volunteers and encourage people to find out what we do. Um, and of so course it's, a big, can, it's a big job. And they can do that online very easily. They can do that online. We have a web page, mm -hmm. skipperscover.org. And by the way, for the auction, say the, catalog. the catalog is fully online. Yeah. Uh, go to skipperscover.com. My gosh, it's beautiful. And one of the things at the auction, just real quick, is as the auction's being called, uh, we're going to scroll through the whole catalog up on the big screen. Sure, so so it'd be kind of unique. Up and yeah, we've, we've tried to integrate some high tech, if you will, <laughs> to make it more exciting. Yeah, because it's also online. It's online. It's also through online, yeah. as well as in person. So if somebody can't, uh, can't be there tomorrow night, uh, hopefully they'll call as soon as they can, 672-5015, uh, and uh, I'll get them lined up so we can Get them, get them in participation, yeah. yeah. And I understand you've even had uh, bids from out of state already. Yeah, we've on, had out of state scenario. interest. It's uh, yesterday we got a <clears throat> absentee bid from somebody in New Mexico, and wow. it was ironic. We were in Oregon Trail Days Parade, and we did the Kitty Parade event, and uh, I met this tourist. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, by the way, we're in, we are up at Car Hinge too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, uh, this uh, tourist wanted to buy this dog on the spot and said, well, unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately. So anyway, she gave me her email and sent her an email. She got online and there you go. So a lot of interest. <laughs> so a lot of interest in the Paws for Paws charity auction that's coming up tomorrow evening at the Weeboard 21 Center starting at what time? Starting at 7's the auction, 630's registration. Mm -hmm. um, one of a kind art from well-known local artists. These are not hobbyists. Uh, these are one-of-a-kind pieces of really fine art, um, make a nice Christmas present. Oh, yeah. Very unique. Uh, very unique. Very unique. So come and, and see them. Yeah, and if you can't make it in person, you can participate online as well. You can get the details by going to Skipper's Covered website, uh, which is, again, skipperscovered.org. Skipper and, and they can the see detail. the catalog at .com. Fantastic. Steve, thank you very much for joining us Our on these extra today. Thank you.